So in this video, I'm going to be showing how to do the bilateral hip and knee flexion, the Thomas test with the iliopsoas variation and the rectus femoris variation. So this first test is the bilateral hip and knee flexion, and this basically assesses the pelvic position and lumbar mobility. What I'm having my client do here is roll on her back. The client will pull her knees as close to her chest as possible, and what we're looking for is the glutes to come off the table to pass. Moving on to the Thomas test iliopsoas variation, this test assesses the iliopsoas and hip extension. Here we are starting with the client's dominant side, which is the right side. The client will hold the other leg to their chest while extending their right leg in the air while slowly lowering it as far down to the table as possible. Now we're doing her non-dominant side, which is her left side. She's going to do the same thing, grab her leg and slowly lower it um, as far down to the table as possible. Moving on to the Thomas test with the rectus femoris variation. This is going to be the primary mover for the test, as well as also testing for the rectus femoris. What we're doing here, similar to the beginning of Ilysoas test, she's going to grab her leg and the difference is that she's going to keep her leg bent and push it down to the table as far as possible. Moving on to this clip, this is going to be her left side, which is her non-dominant side. We're doing the same thing. She's going to keep that left leg bent and bring it to the table as far down as possible.